come to give him glory. We come to give him honor. We come to worship him. We come to glorify him. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, that I would draw men unto myself. Hallelujah. We come to praise him. We come to glorify him. Hallelujah. We come to magnify him. We come to make his name large. We come to make his name great. Hallelujah. Come on, great is our God and great is to be great. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We woke up this morning to give you glory. We showed up to give you glory, oh God. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for this is the day that you have made. And God, we shall rejoice and we shall be glad. Oh God, we thank you for this morning's rising. We thank you for last night's lying down. Oh God, we thank you that when we laid down last night, uh, that we didn't lie on our cooling board. And so for that, God, we say thank you. Oh God, we thank you this morning, oh God, uh, that we receive new mercies this morning. Uh, great is thy faithfulness unto us, oh God. Uh, we thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you spared us another day, another opportunity. God, to give you glory, to give you honor and praise. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus for who you are in all of your glory. We bless your name, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that we vow to come to give you glory this morning. We vow to praise you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we praise you in the building. Oh God, we vow to praise you at home. We vow to praise you in the car. We vow to praise you in the living room. We vow to praise you outside. Oh God, we thank you because you've been that good to us, oh God. We thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come to hallow your name in this place. We come to make your name large, oh God. Oh God, we bless your name, oh God. Oh, the heavens declare of your glory. Oh God, we here on earth, oh God. We declare that you are God. We declare that you are good. We declare that I am God, that you're merciful and kind. Oh God, God, we thank you this morning, God, for having mercy on us, oh God, according to that love and kindness. God, we praise you this morning, God. We thank you, oh God, that you've allowed us to come to the fifth Sunday, hallelujah, of this month, oh God, the first month of a new year, oh God, the first month of a new day, God. And God, we say thank you. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, that you afforded us another opportunity, oh God, just to tell you thank you, that you afforded us another opportunity to be in the land of the living. And God, we don't take it for granted this morning, oh God, but God, you've been kind to us, oh God. We didn't even deserve it, oh God, in the name of Jesus, but you loved us anyway. And God, we say thank you this morning. We come with great for hearts this morning in the name of Jesus oh God God meet the needs of your people today God the people that's watching online the people that's in the building oh God the people in the United States of America the people in the foreign countries oh God we all stand in need of a savior today and God you are the savior you are the answer oh God for the world today above you there is none other Jesus you are the way you're the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except he come by you. And so, Lord, we thank you today, oh God. We give you glory and honor. Oh God, we give you praise today, oh God. Oh God, touch today, God, like only you can. Meet every need for your people today. In the name of Jesus, God, you're able to do it. Ah, God, we trust you to do it. In the name of Jesus, remember sick bodies everywhere, Father. Heal now in the name of Jesus. Make a every went home today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you, oh God, not only do you heal, but you make whole today, God, in the name of Jesus. You're still working miracles. Hallelujah, God, work a miracle today, God, that you will be glorified. Raise somebody up today as a testimony, oh God, that you're still God. Raise somebody up, oh God, as a testimony, oh God, that you're still good. 
And God, we praise you today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you that you're Jehovah Rapha. You are the God that healeth thee. And so, Lord, we thank you today, God. Oh God, we praise you now. Remember those that's dealing with the virus. Remember those that's dealing with cancer. Remember those that's dealing with mental illness. Remember those today, God, who's got tumors in their bodies. Remember them today, oh God. Remember the one who can't walk today. Remember the one who can't talk today. In the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you that you went around, oh God, healing all manner of sickness and disease. God, I thank you today, oh God, that there's nothing too hard for you. And God, we thank you today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, save today. Deliver and set free by your power. Father, we thank you now, oh God. Destroy the works of the enemy today. In the name of Jesus, God, have thine own way, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God, that the devil is defeated, O oh God, and you shall be exalted in this place, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. O oh God, we give you praise and we give you glory. Father, we turn the further part of this service over to you, O oh God, that you would have your way today. Do what you want to do, say what you want to say. In the name of Jesus, but touch us again, God. Heal us again. Oh God, save us even the more today. It baptizes with your power today. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory and honor. Oh God, we give you praise. Oh God, remember those on the prayer list today. You see and you know God. In the name of Jesus, you know every name. You know every request. Oh God, and God, you're so able today. You're so God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that you already got it worked out. In the name of Jesus. And God, we say thank you. God, we praise you. We love you today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. God, have your way. God, do what you want to do. God, be exalted. Be glorified. Hallelujah. In this place, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we'll forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory, oh God. Because it all, hallelujah, belongs to you. Father, we thank you now. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Come on and bless the Lord today. Those of you that are at home, come on. Bless the Lord in your home.
Hallelujah. We're going to do one more song. Hallelujah. This new song was on my heart and mind this morning when I woke up. Hallelujah. It's an old song. Hallelujah. So let's keep going. Hallelujah. Just join in with us and sing.
Today, amen. We honor Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Amen. We honor Apostle Clay today of the Lynch. Amen. To all of you, my father's children. Amen. We honor you and we greet you. Amen. With Jesus joy. Amen. Amen. We praise God and we give him thanks, honor, and glory again for this another opportunity. The fifth Sunday, amen, of the month. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We've made it. 
amen, 30 days, amen, thus far to a new month, amen, to a new season of our life, amen, to a new year, and to God get, be all the glory, hallelujah, to God be all the glory, amen. Those of you, amen, it's time for the word, those of you that have your Bible, to, amen, I won't be before you long this morning, amen, glory to God, but I want to, amen, chat with you, amen, God's people, Amen. Just for a few moments, want to encourage you. Amen. By the word of God, we are going to a familiar passage of scripture. Amen. And familiar in this case means that you've heard it before. Amen. But maybe you haven't heard it on this wise. Amen. Glory to God. So we're going to amen. Daniel chapter number three. Amen. Glory to God. Daniel chapter number three. Amen. I'm going to read a few passages of scripture in your hearing. Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to skip around a little bit in Daniel chapter number three. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Before I do that, I want to give those of you that's watching an opportunity. Amen. To be a blessing this morning. Amen. To refuge. Amen. Would you do that via cash app, dollar sign, refuge, house of God. Amen. Uh, give the fire, refuge, house of God, Charlotte, North Carolina. Amen. PayPal.me forward slash refuge, house of God. Amen. If you don't have those platforms, amen, you can mail us your check, mail us your money order. Amen. To P.O. Box 386. 733, amen, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278, amen, just want to give you the opportunity to sow, to be a blessing, amen, glory to God, to be a financial blessing, amen, to the ministry, amen, to help us to further the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen, glory to God, so we thank the Lord again, amen, for you taking the opportunity to give and to sow, amen, the word of the Lord reads Daniel chapter number 3, Amen. We'll begin reading at verse number 12. And there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. It was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. The Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and then they brought these men before the king. Verse 14, and Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do you not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Going down, amen, to verse number 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able, somebody holler, is able, to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of the hand, O king. We're going over to verse 23, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and he rose up in haste, and he spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men in to the midst of the fire? And they answered and said unto the king, True, O king, verse 25, and he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in, somebody say in, in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Verse 26, then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. And he spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego of the most high God. He says, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. I want to talk to you just for briefly, just for a few moments this morning. Amen. From the subject, sometimes your miracle is in the fire. Sometimes, sometimes your victory will lie within the fire. It will lie within what you're having to go through. Here's a simple fact. In order, y'all, to come out of something, you have to understand that you must go in. Except you go in, there is is no coming out. Uh, yeah, you have to understand in order for us to get out of the bed in the morning, you got to first get in the bed. Come on here. In order to get out of your car, you must first do what? 
get in the car. Come on here. Uh, to get out of the room, you must first enter into the room. Come on here. One of the greatest things about living for God is the joy of coming out of something, being delivered, being set free, being loose from the hands of the enemy, being loose from the hands of sin and shame. We will shout, we will jump, we get joy when it's time to come out of the trials. But I came to let you know that sometime your miracle is in there. Come on here. Uh, Psalm 66 and 12 says, Thou hast cast men, caused men to ride over our heads. And we went through the fire and we went through the water, but thou hast brought us out into a wealthy place. I understand it says thou has caused men to ride over our heads and we went through through the fire. We were in the fire, but we didn't stay. Y'all ain't talking. Uh, that was prophetic right there. I said we went through the fire. It didn't say that we stayed in the fire. It said we went through the fire. Uh, yeah, then it says, and we went through the water. Understanding the water did not consume us. The water did not take us down. We went through the water, and he brought us out into a wealthy place. You understand? Except you go in something. Except you go through something, uh, you, there is no coming out. Uh, there is no victory except you go through it. Uh -huh. Understand, let's give God some praise this morning here as we're clapping our hands and telling God thank you for bringing us out of what he's brought us out of. Come on here. Oh uh, yeah, come on, tell God thank you because he's kept you in the midst of what you're in. Come on here. On the contrary now, I wonder how many songs do we sing Hallelujah about the joy of going into something. I don't ever recall that we sing songs, come on here, about going into a trial. I don't ever remember hearing a song about being glad about going in the fire. I don't ever remember hearing a song that tell me to get joy when I think, you know, we say, well, I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. But at the end of the day, the song didn't say I get joy when I'm going through my tribulation. Uh, you understand? But we will shout the house down when we get out of something. We come out leaping for joy. But what do you do while you're in the fight of your life? Come on here. While you're in, come on here, having to visit the doctor's office pretty frequently. What do you do while you're in the courthouse? While you're standing before the judge? What do you do while you're sitting in HR and they tell you we don't need you anymore? Are you jumping and you're shouting then? But you gotta understand, saints of God, that your miracle will show up while you're in it. Come on here. I can't think of a song this morning that identifies uh, with the fact that I was glad uh, I'm getting ready to go into the valley. Uh, David, I don't believe, was glad when he had to go through the valley. Uh, but David found glory to God. He found hope while he was in the valley. Uh, he wasn't glad that he had to go through the valley. Uh, oh, but David said, yay, though I walk uh, through the valley, uh, which was an indicator that I didn't come to stay in the valley. Come on here. Ah, uh, he said, because my rod and my staff is there to comfort me. So long as I can lean on Jesus, I'm getting on through this valley. While we sing about, come on here, while we shout about coming out, but we dread going in. But let me remind you, in order to come out of something, you got to first go in. Come on here. All the children of Israel would have never come out of Egypt except they had to go by the Red Sea. Are you understand, saints of God? They would have never come out of the wilderness to go into their promised land except they had to come out of the wilderness. You can't be in the wilderness in bondage and in the promised land at the same time. So you gotta go in one to enter into another. It wasn't until name and glory to God was made whole when he got down to dip in the water. David could have never said, he said, but as for me, come on here, my feet had almost gone and my steps were not slipped, come on here, but he said, until I went into the sanctuary, until I went in the sanctuary, until I made a decision, I was going to visit the house of God, then I understood, there in glory to God, the lame man, he couldn't have got his healing, except he stepped in the troubled water, God cannot bring you out, unless he take you 
in. Ah, oh, hear me, hear me today. The church is coming out. We're getting ready to be raptured up. But in order for you and I to, to be a part of this departure, we got to first be in with God. You understand, we don't have time to walk the fence. We don't have time to argue about holiness. We don't have time, glory to God, to bicker and be bitter. We don't have time to fuss and fight. We only have time to be the church. We only got time to have church. We only got time to reach the lost. We only got time to get ourselves ready because at the end of the day, we on our way out of here. Oh, yes. But in our text, show, the only way that the three boys got out of the fiery furnace was that they had to go in glory to God. But there's joy in coming out. But it's fear going in. How many times, y'all, have we entered into something and we didn't understand? We didn't know why God was allowing this to happen. We didn't understand, glory to God, what was going to happen further down the road. We start getting fearful. We started thinking The Lord is going to bring you out of that mess. God's going to bless you. The Lord got plans to prosper you. I know the prophet told you. He told you all of that. But the prophet didn't tell you that you had to go through something in order to get the promise. The prophet did not tell you that there was a process between the prophecy and the promise. The prophet didn't tell you that you might lose a little something along the way to your miracle. The prophet didn't tell you that maybe this walk, glory to God, will be lonely on your way to the nations. The prophet didn't tell you. Ah, oh, yeah, it was the fear that began to scare us after we done jumped and shot, after we done gave God glory. But I came to preach to you this morning to tell you that God is wanting to step into something. God is wanting to get the glory out of this. God is wanting to step in glory to God and work a miracle while you're in it. Come on here. God is wanting glory to God to bring you out glory to God. But only if you step in. Come on here. Peter, come on here. Peter would have never, he would have never walked Unless he got out the boat, the woman's daughter would have never got healed except she went in the house where Jesus was. It's time for us, hallelujah, to get in, glory to God. It's time to step in the troubled water. It's time to jump in with every piece of fiber of faith that you got because God is waiting on you. Here's the gist of it all, that after you step in, but before you come out, you got to understand that there's an in-between season. Ah, That's where the miracle happens. It's the in-between glory to God. I remember Apostle Clay. She had preached many, many years ago a message entitled, Somewhere Between Here and There. God is going to move. You got to understand that somewhere in between, in between. It's the process between two time periods. It's the process between two regions. It's the process between two things. Uh, in between here and there. In between the prophecy and the promise. That's when you'll see your miracle. Your miracle is not going in. Your miracle is not coming out. But your miracle is in the fire. You can ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It wasn't until they got in the fire. Oh, yeah, the king said, did we put three in there? Oh, yeah, the servant said, yes, sir, we did. Ah, oh, but King Nebuchadnezzar, he said, I see four. Oh, yeah, in the fire. Oh, I was an indicator that God didn't show up until they went in the fire. It wasn't a 
until they came out. He didn't wait till the battle was over. He didn't wait till the men took him out. He went in the fire. That's where the miracle showed up. Sometime, y'all, your miracle is in the fire. Sometime, your miracle is in the circumstance. Sometime, your miracle, hallelujah, glory to God, is when you go to the doctor. Your miracle will show up at the hospital. Your miracle will show up at the courthouse. Your miracle will show up at the schoolhouse. Your miracle will show up at the bank. Your miracle will show up when you least expect it. Just when you thought it was over. Here comes Jesus. Here comes the miracle worker. Here comes the life giver. Here comes Jesus stepping in. Oh, yes. You understand, uh, God is always at his greatest in our sight uh, when he reveals himself as we go through. Uh, David's greatest revelation of God uh, was not sitting on the throne, uh, but David said in Psalms 23 and 4, uh, he said, yea, though I walk uh, through the valley uh, of the shadow of death, uh, he said, I will fear no evil. Uh, I'm not about to get scared, uh, but thou with me. Ah, yes. David said, yea, though I walk through the valley, I'm not coming here to stay. I'm not making this a place of permanent residence. I'm not becoming complacent in the valley. He said, I'm walking through here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, I'm walking. Yes, it's dark. No, I don't like it. But I'm walking through here. He said, and I'm I'm not going to be worried. I'm not going to have anxiety. I know I'm not. Oh, God. He said, because thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I don't have to be scared when he is with me. I know David realized that once he stepped in the valley, uh, he was going to come out of the valley uh, because God was walking uh, with him uh, through the valley. Uh, I come to tell you this morning, uh, you may have stepped into trouble, uh, uh, but you're on your way out of trouble uh, because victory uh, belongs to you uh, because God is with you. Uh, he said, I never leave you uh, and I never forsake you. Oh, uh, yes, uh, you got to understand uh, that God is with you uh, through this thing. Uh, he won't let you down. Uh, he won't fail you. Uh, he don't, won't let you go. Uh, oh yes. Uh, but through now here, the king says, uh, throw them three boys in the fire. Ah, uh, but wait, wait, wait. Uh, I see four. Uh, you understand? God now reveals himself uh, in the fire. God reveal himself in uh, in the fire. God is going to show up for you. Glory to God. As you go through, you go through. Come on here. Uh, God's going to show up for you. As you go through, you'll go through. Come on here. Because everybody's go through is something different. Everybody's in the fire is something different. But I came to declare you to you that God's going to show himself to be strong and mighty. I came to declare to you that God's going to do it Yes, he is. He gonna do it because he want to do it. He gonna do it because he want to be glorified. He gonna do it because he want to be seen. Oh, yes. We bless his name today. For the disciples now, when Jesus stood up as the storm was out on the ocean, as the woman with the issue of blood, the Bible says that she passed through the crowd and she touched Jesus. Again, she was going through her issue. Again, she was going through the city. As Jesus passed through the city, she got healed. Glory to God. Her miracle showed up as she was passing through. But that's where the miracles are. That's where God shows up. If you feel you're going through something. Get ready for your miracle. But pastor, you don't know what I'm in the middle of. Pastor Tia, you 
just don't know what I'm being confronted with. Pastor, you don't understand how the devil is beating up on my family. Pastor Tia, you don't understand how the devil is messing with me. But I don't, maybe I don't. But at the end of the day, glory to God, I don't know what the enemy is doing to you. But what I do know is this. I know that God is with you in the middle of what you're going through. I understand. That's what I do know, glory to God. I might not know your personal circumstance. And that's okay. But I know the God of your circumstance. I know the God that will provide. I know the God that will bring you out. I know the God that shall deliver. I know the God. Hallelujah. And I got plans to prosper you and to give you an expected end. I know the God that can do all things but fail. I know the God who's with you. The children of Israel now walked into the wilderness and one day they walked out of the wilderness into the promised land. But the greatest miracle happened while they were going through. Somebody, I want you to get ready. Somebody watching online, get ready for your miracle. Somebody in the building, get ready for your miracle. Yeah. Hallelujah, because it's time to walk through. It's time to walk out. And I'm finished, glory to God. At the end of the day, I came to encourage you as the people of God. You got to understand that sometimes your miracle will show up while you're in it. Come on here. To understand that sometimes your victory will show up while you're in it, while you're going through it. Keep your eyes looking unto the hill from whence cometh your help, knowing that your help comes from God. At the end of the day, we're standing all over the building. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, we're worshiping at home. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because sometimes, hallelujah, we have to understand, hallelujah, that our miracle is in the midst. Glory to God on what we're going through. Jesus didn't show up. God didn't show up until Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got in the fire. That's when he showed up. He didn't wait till they got out. Glory to God. He didn't even show up before. Our dear brother Lazarus, glory to God, had been dead for days. But Jesus showed up. Up, glory to God while he was dead while his sisters were going through while they were mourning Jesus showed up so we have to understand saints of God that our miracle our victory is in what we're going through yeah. I know you want to wait because we sing the song don't wait till the battle is over but shout now hallelujah don't wait till the battle is over don't wait hallelujah you ought to bless God right now the Bible says in all things we give thanks but this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. And so we thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. He says, why are you in it to give me thanks? For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. While you're in it, while you're going through it, you may have to cry and that's okay. But give me thanks. Come on here. You might get frustrated along the way while you're in it, but give me thanks. Hallelujah, because victory belongs to you. I'm walking through this thing with you, and you're not by yourself. You're not alone. And so we bless the Lord today, because you have to realize, saints of God, that sometimes your miracle is why you're in it. Come on here. Sometimes your miracle will show up in the middle. Glory to God. Between, come on here, between the prophecy and between the promise, that's where the miracle shows up in the middle of what you're going through. And so I came to encourage you as the people of God today. Amen. Glory to God. To be encouraged. Go on through. Go on through your go through. Amen. Because God's going to bring you out. Amen. More than a conqueror. God's going to bring you out. Hallelujah. On victory side. God's going to bring you out. Hallelujah. With the victory in your hand. And so we bless the Lord today. We're standing all over the building. Father, we thank you. Father, we give your name the praise. We give your name the honor and the glory because it all belongs to you. Thank you, O oh God, for encouraging us to know that our miracle is in what we're going through. Our miracle tends to show up while we're in the circumstance, while we're going through it. 
God, I thank you today because when we go through it, it's an indicator that we ain't going to stay. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We didn't go in this thing to stay. Hallelujah. But we're going through it, Father. Hallelujah. That you might teach us, God. That you might show yourself to be strong and mighty. God, I thank you. It's just a place to go through. Hallelujah. But we're coming out. Anything that we go in, we got to come out. And so, Lord, I thank you today, God, that you've encouraged us today to know that you'll show up in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God and do your best work while we're in it. And so, Lord, I thank you for encouraging us today. Thank you for uplifting us. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. For letting us know, God, that you have not forgotten about us. And so, Father, we lay fear to the side today. The fear of the unknown, the fears and the anxieties that come to tempt us, Father, because we don't know what you're doing. We don't know how you're going to do it. But, God, we're leaning and depending on you. And so, Lord, we thank you today because you're a great God. You're a marvelous God. You are excellent, Father, and you take mighty good care of us. And so, Lord, we thank you today. God, we honor you. We thank you for those that's watching online today, those who will go back and watch the replay. Father, I thank you today that you would encourage your people, that you will uplift your people. God, that you will illuminate your people with your word, Father, to help them to know that they can make it another day with you on our side. And so, Lord, we give you thanks today. We give you praise. We magnify you because you're great and you're mighty. Hallelujah, God. We glorify you, God, for this is the day that you have made. Father, we will rejoice and we will be glad. Father, we thank you today. God, save today. Deliver and set free. Remember every person that's listening that has a prayer request today. Father, we set ourselves in agreement today with them. That whatever they're standing in need of today, God, you're going to do it. And God, I thank you, God, that you're going to see them through it today. In the name of Jesus, Father, I give you praise and I give you glory for each and every one in the building and online. Father, we thank you and we give your name the praise, the honor and the glorious in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Again, we thank you. Amen. For taking this opportunity. Amen. To join the refuge experience on today. Amen. Pray that you were blessed. Pray that you've gotten something. Amen. Out of the word of God today. Amen. That will help you. Amen. That will encourage you. Amen. Glory to God to keep on keeping on in the Lord. Amen. Don't leave him now. Glory to God because he's not going to leave you. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody watching. Amen. That want to be saved and say, Pastor T, I want to be saved. Amen. Would you type it in the chat? I want to be saved. I want that God. I want that Jesus that you said will never leave me, that never will forsake me. I want that one. Amen. That will be with me always through my trials, through my tests. Amen. Through my tribulations. Pastor T, I want it. Amen. Would you type in the chat? I want to be saved. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Those of you that's requesting prayer. Amen. Pastor Tia, I need my refuge family to pray for me. Would you type it in the chat? Amen. We're going to be praying for you. Amen. We just believe. Amen. In the power of prayer. Amen. Glory to God. We just believe that things happen when we pray. Amen. And so we believe God today. We just want to touch and agree with you. Don't need to know all your business. Amen. But we want to touch and agree. Amen. With you. Amen. To let you know. Amen. That you got some help. Amen. In prayer. Amen. Glory to God. And so we bless God today. We're getting ready to sign off again. I want to give you the opportunity to give. Sow your tithes. Amen. Give your offerings. Amen. Amen. That the Lord, amen, will bless you in return. Amen. We're getting ready to give in the building, but we want to give you the opportunity, amen, to do the same online. Would you send us your tithes? Send us your offering. Amen. Be a blessing. Amen. To the house of God. Cash app. Amen. Refuge. R-E-F-U-G-E. -E, house of God. Amen. Glory to God. Give the fire refuge house of God. Make sure you choose the one in Charlotte, North Carolina. Amen. You can go to PayPal. It's PayPal, www.paypal.me. Amen. Forward slash refuge house of God. All one word. Amen. Glory to God. And type in the amount. Amen. That you want to give. Amen. That you will help us. Amen. If you don't have any of those platforms. Amen. Glory to God. You can mail us a check. Mail us a money order. Amen to P.O. Box 38733, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Amen. Glory to God. We bid, love you today. Amen. We bid you God speed. Amen. Please know that our your refuge family loves you. Amen. We appreciate you joining on and listening to.
to what the Lord would have to say unto us today. Amen. Be encouraged. Be uplifted. Amen. It's not over. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The best is still in front of you. Glory to God. The best is still yet to come. I know it's a cliche that we've said for years. Amen. But the best is still to come. And we believe, God, as long as you're still breathing, amen, hallelujah, God's got an opportunity to move. And so we bless God today for you, 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 and you, amen, glory to God. We love you. We're getting ready to sign off, amen. We love you, amen, and we pray that you have an awesome week, amen, this week, amen, and that the Lord will continue to be on your side, that the Lord will strengthen you and encourage you, amen, as you do the will of the Father. Amen. Glory to God. So we thank you so much. Amen. And we'll see you next time. In Jesus' name. Amen.